in this video you'll see how to use a project called Node Reference Highlight. So Node Reference Highlight recently saw a full stable release for Drupal 7. I'm still marking it alpha while we go through some additional testing and get community feedback. Um, but initial tests are really promising. Uh, so basically, this is a port of the Drupal 6 version of this, which was originally developed for Elms. Um, and so in Elms, you could use this to highlight terms and places and polls and you can read the description and see some videos of how, how that worked. Uh, the 7 branch actually comes with functionality out of the box. Uh, so it is at its core just an API, but then you can uh, extend it with the features included and you know look through them and learn how you can actually put them on top of it. Uh, it also comes with support for the typo module right out of the box. So typo is a pretty neat little neat little contrib project, very new. Um, it just lets you identify words that are type typographical errors. So let's see how this works. So I have node reference highlight turned on here. Let's go to a uh, page that doesn't have anything. Right, so on this page, basically, uh, what you're going to do is go and show you what you get with no reference highlight. Uh, so, you. so you have node reference highlight, which is just the API. Um, this does come with support for the typo module, as I mentioned, um, but nothing else beyond that. You know, it doesn't require typo. It also uses um, the Tipsy module. If you have it installed, it doesn't, again, it doesn't require anything there. Um, so you also get node reference highlight entity example and node reference highlight glossary. Uh, so those are actually features. So if we go to features, you can see what those come with. So in the entity example, you'll see this creates a content type called person, uh, creates a referencing field, which I'll show how that works, and then just gives some basic settings. Uh, this is purely for example purposes. You can use this to build your own features off of this or just to understand the API better. Uh, the glossary uh, is actually a full-fledged glossary, which I, I plan on using in, in production. So you'll see you get a you know, node reference highlight term. Um, it also comes with a view, and I'll probably package some more views in the future. So what does this do? Basically, once you have it turned on, what you do is you double-click on a text, on a page, and if you have permission, you'll get this thing that shows up. And so you'll see, because I have the two features on and I have a typo module installed, what I get is, indicate this is a typo, it's my first thing. I have associated this to a person, and then we also have add this term to the glossary. So let's go ahead and we'll highlight resource page, resources page, and um, we're gonna add this term to the glossary. So you see what that does is it opens up a new content creation form, and it pre-populates the title to the text that I had selected. So, definition of some kind, let's save. And so that didn't, you know, this, that didn't seem like a good thing, right? Um, it's because there's a lot of caching going on. So if I you save the page, you'll see now, because that refreshes the cache, it's dynamically linked this to the resources page. And so if I click that, you'll see it goes to all we have is type of definition. So that's basically the functionality that uh, this is providing. Um, cool thing associated with that. And so you'll see the word expect, which I need to tell it to be full words um, and not partials. I, I have expect in here as a, um, as a term. And so this was the page I originally highlighted on. And you'll see, if I click and edit this, it is a term that's just See, term expect, right? Terms will be found in all kinds of pages. Um, so any page that that word, that term shows up on, it will display. So that's kind of kind of the idea with the terms. Get it here. Um, you can also do. Uh, we'll just real quick we'll go and do it. Indicate there's a typo. So let's say successfully spelled wrong. And click typo. It'll pull up this report form, which is now just entirely using the typo module. So this needs to be spelled better. Right? Send type of report. And so that's just, it's just a real quick and easy way that you can send it on here. Viral should be viral. Okay. And uh, typo comes with a, a view, as you can see here. It's then created those and indicated where I was 
what the comment was I left, and then highlights the word slightly in context as to what it was and what it was created. So the hope is, you know, you would have someone monitoring these. Um, you would then go and, you know, make the change to the page, and then come here and say, okay, delete these. You know, I took care of this, right? So that's the idea behind typo. Um, the other integration we have is um, double click assignments, and then we have this associate this person, right? So that any reference. What that does is it populates title with the text that I selected, and then it also populates the referencing page here. So I didn't have to know this was the syllabus. You might have multiple things called syllabus or cool stuff or whatever your referencing pages. It actually makes the reference appropriately. And then in this instance, you see I can't edit it because I, I told it to reference this. So I don't have any fields associated with this. We just you know, save that and you're done. Um, again, I need to tell it to you clear the cache of that page you added it to. But now you see the assignments is here. Now, because this is directly tied to this page, it's a different type of highlighter. And so if the word assignment shows up um, anywhere else in the course, it's not going to highlight that. It's a direct link to that one thing. There. Uh, so these are just two examples of how you can implement the node reference highlight uh, system. The API is much more extensive than that. You can tell it whether or not it should highlight everything, whether it should highlight just the first occurrence. Um, you know, I'm actually going to expand upon the term highlighter so that it integrates with the regions module because the, uh, the seven branch of regions also comes with features out of the box, one of which is a right side area. Um, and so I'll integrate this with the right slide out. So you get the same functionality that um, you may have seen in Elms before. But this is repurposable to any Drupal site. There's no Elms requirement whatsoever. Elms will just happen to use this project or these projects as well.